Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Eddie's Toy Box and today we're going to be taking a look at Pop Heroes number 96 from the new movie Suicide Squad, The Joker. Now, you know, to people who maybe live in a bubble or haven't seen any trailers for The Suicide Squad or any other promotional materials, we're going to pretend that one of you out there does exist. This is The Joker's, how he's going to appear in Suicide Squad. It's Jared Leto, um, you know, making every character his own. And, uh, yeah, some people love the way this looks, and some people dislike it a great deal. Me, I remain cautiously optimistic. I hope he does a good job. I hope it is awesome. I hope that it's a good rendition of the Joker. Maybe, you know, it doesn't look like the previous installments, you know, um, with um, Heath Ledger. Obviously, it's not Heath Ledger's Joker. It's not Jack Nicholson's Joker. Um, it's going to be Jared Leto's Joker. So it's going to be a little bit different. And um, to some, that's not good. And to others, it doesn't matter. I pref I would prefer not as many of these crazy tattoos. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, so the side art shows you the concept art for the Joker. You can see. Back of the box shows you all the other pops in the series. And there are a ton of them, including four variations of the Joker. Um, so we've got Joker, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Rick Flag, Katana, Boomerang, Killer Croc, Diablo, and Deadshot Masked. Those are, I believe, all the common variants. And then you've got Harley Quinn as an inmate, which is a GameStop exclusive. You've got the Joker Tuxedo, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. Then you got the Joker in the suit. I believe that's Walmart. And then the Joker Boxer, which is um, Available in the FYE Double Pack with uh, Harley Quinn, both metallic versions, and available, I believe, at Target, Target exclusive. And then we've got Harley Quinn in a gown, which is the Hot Topic exclusive, which we reviewed already. And then we've got the Enchantress, which we believe is going to be in the DC Legion of Collectors box. So if you have not subscribed to that yet and you want to co complete the collection, you have to do so. Um, so yeah, many Suicide Squad pops to go around. Hopefully the movie's great. Um, I've said it in a previous video, I was not too big on Batman versus Superman, but I'm going to go into the Suicide Squad movie with, I guess, no prior knowledge that Batman versus Superman was just a terrible movie. Um, Ben Affleck as Batman was great. I know he's in this movie as Batman, so that's already good. So we'll, we'll remain cautious, cautiously optimistic. That'll be the theme of the video. So here we go. Joker. He's shirtless. He's got on these sweatpants that say Arkham on it. Probably, you know, for, you know, Arkham Asylum. Um, as far as the tattoos go, he's got a tattoo across his stomach, like Tupac. But it says Joker. Uh, and kids out there, Tupac was a rapper a long time ago. And then he's got ha 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 all the way up and down his arms. And the, kudos to Funko for the paint job on these because you can really make out all the ha ha ha's. Um, on his back here, the ha ha ha's go on the other side of his arm. Uh, not much going on on the back of Joker besides that, though. You can see the elastic band for the sweatpants. It looks pretty cool. The sculpt for the pants as well gives them a baggy look to it. You can see there. Um, the one purple glove, I'm sure that's going to mean something in the movie, but, you know, everyone who knows the Joker knows that purple and green, uh, you know, symbolic. There is there's colors. So that's an awesome addition as well. As far as the clown paint goes, it's lacking. Um... The box art shows the face kind of like a whitish pale, but the it doesn't translate over on the pop. Um, the flesh tone on his face almost matches the one of his skin, so it just looks like one straight thing. Um, and I don't know if that's what they were going for. You can see some faint black around the eyes. Um, then you can see, you know, he's got like these scars here. He's got the tattoo of the J across the forehead damaged and that's not to signify the box he comes in for you inbox collectors <laughs> i'm just kidding um he's got on the red lipstick and then you can kind of see in his mouth it's silver paint like almost as those are his wrapper grills i don't know why he has grills i don't know maybe you know i don't know um as far as the green hair goes just green hair kind of slicked back in the front parted right there all the way in the back and that's this rendition of the Joker. He does have four variations so far in this lineup. Um, you can get them, I'm sure, soon everywhere where Pops are sold, um, and you can get the exclusives where they're exclusive to. Just like we did with Harley, we'll bring out some of the Joker's old Pops, starting with Bank Robber Joker from the Dark Knight movie. Or is it the Dark Knight Rises? Or the Dark Knight Returns? I don't know. 
one of them. Then we've got Heath Ledger, right? We don't have a pop based off of Jack Nicholson's Joker yet, which we really should. Then the Arkham games, which was an awesome game. And we've got these classic, you know, Joker here, black and white. And then the regular. And then this Joker's like, come at me, bro. Right? So there you go, guys. Joker and all his buddies. Um, and I'm sure we're going to review the other Jokers. Uh, my Hot Topic didn't have the Hot Topic exclusive Joker when I went. So we got this one instead. And if you liked the video, give us a like. Comment on it down below. Subscribe for more. Follow us on Instagram at DSBJ underscore figs where we post daily pop pictures. Look for us on Twitter and Facebook at Eddie's Toy Box. It's the same name. Join us on Facebook at Poppin' Off About Funko. Look for my column Thursdays on popvinyls.com. And as always, be kind to one another. Have a great day. Why so serious? And free the pops. We'll see you around. Thank you.